It's the final countdown. Or Venom. No, 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 too much, too much. No copyright, Mario. Uh, too much. Even with my bad version of it? You nailed it, Mario, and everyone knows it. Let's see. I'm gonna go first so I can, like, uh, pull the final countdown card and, uh, see how this goes. But we are taking two win conditions head-to-head -head against each other and seeing which can win because we have a little birdie telling us that there's some cool animations going on over here. So, we gotta see them. You know we gotta see them. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so. You know how cool the first two was with Exodia and with, uh, what was it, the Destiny board. So we gotta see, like, what are these. Yeah. Also, I gotta see this card. The new Pot of Disparity that everyone's been talking about. Banish three or six cards from your extra deck face down. Alright, so we've seen this before. Excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number banished. Yikes. Add one to the hand, place the rest at the bottom of your deck, and for the rest of the turn, any damage your opponent takes is halved. Okay, so it slows you down a little bit. You cannot draw cards um, by any effects um, when you activate After this card. So yeah, it's essentially a six-card search. You look at the top six cards in your deck and pick the one you need. So, let's give it a try, shall we? And I think that's all, honestly. Mm -hmm. Now, of course... Um, is it random, the, the cards you send away, or...? Um... I don't believe so. Okay, choose cards to banish. So, of course, you do have to ditch a bunch of your cards to uh, make perfect use out of this, but we'll see how it goes. Do I want to activate a card? Nah. I did just give you an extra deck full of random cards. Yeah, okay, I figured it was that. I was like, I'm just going to ditch two of each just in case. Um, but now I have a selection of six cards, and I choose the card I wish to add to my hand. I will choose... I think... Apollosa is the only one in there that you could actively use. Okay. You know what? I don't have any other monsters, so I'm going to add a card card D to my hand. That sounds like a good option. Oh, yeah. And you can rearrange on the top of the deck. I thought it was on the bottom of your deck. Or is it either? It's, bo it's bottom. For some okay. Reason, for so. some reason, they let you do that. Yep. Very well. That's fine. So we'll it's do that. Like, it's like the Adamantipator, uh, where you could just pick the... You put those bottom three cards to the, the bottom of the deck in any order it's like mm -hmm. why does it matter <laughs> for when you use that card that flips over your deck mario of course uh you know I, i've thought about that it's <laughs> like why would that be useful in this though let's see if this is normal summoned i contribute this card draw two cards and then when it becomes the end phase it cannot special summon during the turn you activate this effect oh no i can't use the effect of card card d because of pot of disparity neat okay Okay. Alright. Allure of Darkness, go. Oh, I'm never going to be able to use uh, Card Card D just because of how it's built. So I should have just been patient with that. It's all good. We're fine out here. Okay, let me see. Started with my gold sarcophagus, so it's only a matter of time till the final countdown but it begins. Yeah, that's inevitable. I gotta hurry on try to bring out my wing condition. Exactly. Alright, I'll bring out my Venom Servant. Um, do I want to activate the card? No. Ah, that's totally what it wants me to activate. Venom counter, go! Yikes. Oh, that's a little symbol. That You see that little symbol right there? Yeah. It's very nice. See, now would I like to activate a card? Okay, fine. I'll activate Waboko. There we go. Maybe not the best strategy for stalling. Um, but I want to use this and get some, some gain out of it. So, we'll do that. Alright. And my turn. Alright, I will activate this card. Dugouts. And hope hey, I didn't banish anything integral from my extra deck for this. Hey, at least they're all not all the same goats. They're all like different ones. Yeah, of course. Alright, so that's just going to be another turn, and I'll be all set to go. Let's do any special summoning we need to do before worrying about using this card. So what do I even have? Yeah, Apollosa's in here. We got a Kashik Magician. Uh, we don't really have any low links, so I don't even know if I can do this, to be fair. Um, in fact, is there just nothing I could... Oh, wow, well, yeah. It is, it is really a nothing extra deck. Okay. So we'll just change position there. Definitely should not have whoop good, but I thought there was going to be some random... Um, scapegoat climbs in here, but there is not. I suppose with that, we'll close that, and we might as well activate this. No reason not to. 
no special summoning happening this turn. Uh, let me see. Pause duality. Do I activate a card? What do I activate? I don't know. Oh, I can negate your thing. Hey. Hey. My Venom Boa. Not cool, dude. Not cool. <laughs> Can you still activate your car card D or something? No, because it's not the turn it was summoned. Oh. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a very specific wording on that card. Normally we don't run into that issue, but yeah. No, yeah, but with those two cards individually, and it would be the same with Extravagance, um, card card D will not play. So you just bring have up... to not even consider using him in the same turn. Which, to be up... fair, should have been my first thought, but... The Venom Snake. All right. Now let's start destroying some of those goats. Very good. Make it happen. Nothing out here is going to be any problem to you. That's very true. In phase two. Let's take a look. Uh, what do I bring out? Uh... Okay. Okay? What Next do you mean, okay? I think this might work out in my favor. So I'm gonna bring out Reptilian e Echidna. Okay. Activate her effect. I change a car card D to zero attack points. Oh yeah, that does that, doesn't it? Um, let's see. Up to the number of your monster control. Your opponent controls zero attack points. Oh dear. And you have two more monsters with zero attack points. Darn it. No! <laughs> yeah. Not how I wanted that card to go down. I wanted you to start filling your field first, but let's just have that effect go off of zero monsters with zero attack points, shall we? Darn it, that was like the perfect thing. I would have drawn three cards. Yeah, no. That. It was a really well um well timed counterplay to my scapegoat, and of course the torrential tribute was a very good counterplay to that. So, timer starts. Eight thousand, eight thousand, let's go. Well, eight thousand, six thousand, of course. Um, and I don't have many cards to stall you out with here, so. End turn. Okay, I'll make this a little harder. Any defense mode monster you have? I can counter that now. Oh, lovely. Uh, Oceelion, go. Oh man, that's damage. Yep. Now I'll attack you. All right, so be it. Let's see, what can I do to slow you down a little further? I don't know. Let's see what I draw. So we got it playing. You know what? I'll... Ah, man. Can't really figure it out. You can't figure out anything right now? Yeah, just the, uh, the those attack pheromones, man. They're pretty solid. Well, not unless I draw another monster right now, because it only switches you to attack mode. If I don't okay. want to the monster. Gotcha. I, I guess I'll play this. I'll send my Venom Boa, which would have been like, I need a Treepy for it. Mm -hmm. But what this allows me to do... Send four reptiles to the grave. Yep. Very nice. I just love the concept of snake rain. It's fantastic. And send this one. Very nice. Because it's mainly supposed to... Special summon that, uh, well, this card right here. Oh, baby. Hello! <laughs> that You're was saying... a lot of reptiles I sent to the grave. Yeah. Do I want to activate that card? Um, now I'm curious. It says um, you change me to attack mode. Um, oh, at the end of the damage step. Got it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need a second monster. Of course, Spirit Reaper out here chilling. Yeah, I can't destroy that, so. so End turn. I like the counterplays that are going on here. It's like, oh, you can do that. Ah, but I have this. Oh, but you have that. Oh, I have to destroy a card too in order to keep it alive, so. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it out just to show you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Might not have been the best time. Let's see. That sounds like an excellent card. Hmm. Um, you know what? Just, yeah. It will 100% be worth it. Messenger of Peace. Oh, you 
That actually seals me, I think, because I. Because I'm a yeah, he ain't doing nothing. And you no, would need no. two more monsters to do anything with Spirit Reaper. Not only that, uh, my monster needs to destroy three of your monsters in order to win. Oh, so unless you can get rid of that, we sit sitting pretty. Well. Yeah. That hurts me bad. That countdown's counting. How many turns do you have left on that? I don't know, but it'll pop up at the end of the thing. <laughs> Much better than destroying him. Just let him destroy you. It's going so quick. I'm not even seeing it. And pay a hundred life points. Yeah, sure. Oh no! If you hover, yeah, it is what I thought. If you go to your graveyard and hover over it, it tells you how many counters are. You are on six right now. Okay. How do you see that? Because uh, I'm hovering over it. Yeah. Uh, it's in your. It's in the card text right there. Oh, because you don't have an, you have enemy cards on. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. So in okay. card oh no, if you open up the little text box and go switch over the card. I have it in the card thing. Uh, it's not showing on there. Okay, it only yeah. shows if you have the non-anime okay. textures on. Gotcha. Oh well. well. Either way, it pops up, so we're all good here. Um, yeah, we chilling. This is literally what this deck is meant to do. Just stall you out and make you sad. Yeah. Before your inevitable doom comes. So I'm bring on the doom! Tribute my this monster to some fair dark Ooh. alligator. Dark Not alligator. bad though. I'm sure you love dark alligator though. He seems cool. This chubby little gator with three heads. Mm -hmm. Now I'll do the anaconda, the echidna. I mean, more make your monsters attack from zero. Oh. Oh, Just because you target him, he's gone. Yep, classic spirit reaper. Now let's see if this card's attack once is low enough for me to, uh... How much do you have? 200? Ooh, yeah. clean numbers out here. <laughs> Marsh Macaroon, which, you know, you kind of want him to be destroyed, but... It is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, pay life points? Yeah, you're obviously... Have more potential than I do for getting strong monsters out here, so I'll just take 100, no big deal. And, yeah. End my turn. Counts yeah. accounting. Okay, so I got my wind condition card of Venom Naga, but what, what do I do? Yeah, what are your conditions to doing that? Well, first off, I need a. I need either the Rise of the Snake Deity card, and I need to bring out like it's a pretty weird condition card. I have to bring out the Deity of the Snakes, mm -hmm. and I also have the Trap card. So that way, if he ever leaves the field, I activate it, and she comes out in response. Okay. Uh, I see what the turn counter is on the final countdown. Okay. It's a little tiny pink text. Dang it. So. I can't just change a monster to zero attack points. Nope. Let's see. Pay 100? Yeah, sure. You don't need to keep going for that much sound effects. We're good. It's only 100. Um, sure. I wonder if I wonder if Messenger of Peace is just like in the middle of the field, like if it was a hologram, and it's just saying, you can go on through. No, you can't. Yeah, it's just a bouncer, really. Yeah. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh bouncer. Card down. Let's attack the other card. Is another Mash Macaroon. No, it's not. But it does have two hundred defense. <laughs> another Spirit Reaper. Probably should have awesome. held on to it, but because I know you can deal with him. All right, messenger piece, yes, sure. We'll just chill Sorry, right like hoping, that. I was kind of hoping you were gonna forget to put it back to attack mode. Uh, I mean, even Ooh. so, he has more attack than you do. Finally, the card that can actually destroy you. Oh, good old Venom Swamp. There you go. Nice. Marsh macarons. That's just gonna keep going off, isn't it? Um, we'll see. Because I don't think it's gonna chain up to that now. Hey, okay, yeah, sure. Basically, preventing me from from using Venonago if it ever comes out. Mm hmm. We'll just set a card right over here, and uh, what do I got here for you? Eh, it don't matter. 
End turn. And then that'll just get two more out. It's gonna be annoying having to do this constantly, but it's all good. So you turn counter 15, I guess you have five turns left. Assuming that is the actual counter, it's very small text. Alright, let's see. Venom shot is not what I need. How many turns do you have left? I think five. Yep. Yeah. And it's gonna be the longest, it's gonna be since the longest time I've seen like a final countdown to even go off in Yu-Gi-Oh. It has been a long time, hasn't it? Like in like yeah. terrible decks, it's sometimes like a desperate side effect, but like doesn't go through a lot. Activate effects. Yep. And then that'll let me get these out. Confirm. Do it all again. This would be like the. This would be like. If, oh. What I'm thinking is, there's a card that every time your opponent special summons, you can deal 300 attack point damage to them. Imagine this was a weird way to kill you. Yeah. Like, how many attack points do you have? How many turns do you have left? I think it's that 17. Yeah, it probably is. I don't know, it's hard to see. It is 17. So I'm on turn 18. I need to somehow figure out some way. <sighs> Good luck. I don't Dang. think it's happening for you, man. It is not because I didn't even draw the card I need. I didn't even draw. I haven't even drawn the new pot card, actually. Uh, that I added in. Yeah, to be fair, I did just draw one of them, but... We have both gone through our decks a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Just stay in there. I'm done. And... Like, oh, we get to come back out? No. No. I don't want none of this. Activate a thing? Yeah, sure. Here you go. And enter. I think this is the final turn after this. Venom yeah, Swamp just annoyed me I to the point I finally get offering to the Snake Deity, and I... There you go! You did it! I hate this so much. Oh, baby. I don't even have a Reptile to tribute for it. Yeah. Alright, let's... Oh, there is no special animation? Guess not. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Wait, is that even letting me hit rematch for you, actually? Um, yeah, because I set it to match here, so let's just continue. Uh, Ta-da! Finish. Let's go. All oh, the faces are up here. Let's go. Let's hit continue and then hit finish. And you'll be in here. Mm-hmm. Did you? Yep. I hit second. Okay. Very good. And you were told that there was an animation for this, so... Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, we're going to do a card card D. So I think I can work a little better with this hand. So first off, I'll play this, which will allow me to discard one card. I'm going to get rid of damage equal reptile because you're obviously not going to do any sort of damage to me. Probably not. I'm going to discard these cards. I'm just a stolly boy. Very stolly. Those four cards. Normal summon. Venom snake. Mm -hmm. And end the turn. Alrighty. Alright, um, I guess we'll just roll like this. Um, are we gonna do anything to draw stuff? Nope, so we shall activate Pot of Disparity. And I don't care who we get rid of. Here we go. Okay, we got some other monster options in here. Ooh, is that a Morphing Jar? Let me just double check the effects of a Morphing Jar. That sounds People. fun. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll grab a Morphing Jar. And uh, yeah, all these cards can go wherever they want. Alrighty. Now I suppose what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this card, and uh, we're gonna set this card. But it could be anything. We don't know what that card is. I end my turn. Don't use the Morphing Jar right now. I have both my... 
Venom, Venom Kings. Well, we'll see. Activate alligator. Alrighty. I keep, there's no like special summoning condition for these guys either. So, uh, uh. Hey, final countdown. That means, that, means, that means you don't have to summon out the uh, the, mo the, the morphing jar, right? You don't need to flip it up. Yeah, you're right. I don't need to flip it up. All right, I'm gonna set discard as well. You know, and I'll set discard as well. And my turn. Huh? Honestly, we're gonna say, yeah, I, yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> Bam! I mean, I want to give you a chance to get your thing out here, because we already know Final Countdown don't do nothing fancy. Attack for a moment. Now I'll trip you both monsters. There you go. The Venom King mm -hmm. of Poisonous Snakes. Now let's see. Okay. Hopefully you don't have a Mirror Force. Hate you. <laughs> oh, my bad. That wasn't a morphing jar. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. And I had enough monsters to start whittling down those things. <laughs> uh, if I had my face cam on right now, you would see the look of. Just <laughs> straight betrayal. Just <laughs> a betrayal in my eyes right now. Yep. Alrighty. I suppose let's set this card. And this card. And my turn. By the way, I didn't mean I didn't mean to mention you have a uh, sound effects on or off. By the way, on. I. When it's on your opponent's turn, whenever you set or summon a monster, mm -hmm. it always sounds like the original Duelist Kingdom sound effects with the whole. With that sure. noise. No, no, I'm just saying like it's a cool little thing they added in. Yeah, sure. Like to face down. Um, let's see. Okay. The morphing jar. Yeah. What did you have in your hand? And just like two scarecrows. Ah. And another. Mo oh, wait, that was the morphing jar. Yeah, I that thought... was that was the one. So more cards. All right. Main phase two. Mm-hmm. Let's see. All right, set two cards down. Vandeville. And let me see. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to end a turn. Because sure. I don't got anything else to do. Alrighty. Oh, another one. Beep -a -boop -boop -boop. Sure. Blam, 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 blickety blam. All right, let's see what kind of cards we got in here. Honestly, I'm in a position where I just want to stall, aren't I? So we can do whatever we want. Uh, we don't have any more monsters in our hands. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that guy right here. Spirit Reaper is always nice. Although you do have a lot of ways to deal with them with this deck have to order all the cards it doesn't let me just ignore it completely okay i'm gonna activate a second final countdown um let's let's do gold sarcophagus let's get something to look forward to shall we i don't know what i need i don't know what i want but oh i can gold sarcophagus into another gold sarcophagus that could be fun um or you know what we'll look up we're gonna go for a dark hole. That sounds fun. Use that later if we need to. And um, aside from that, uh, yeah. It's your boy, Messenger of Peace. And my turn. Bloop. All right, let's see. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay. Well, let's activate the pot of disparity. Very nice. It's a fun card. I like it. Yeah. Everyone knew it was going to be good. Look at the top six cards. That'd be especially good for those combo decks where you just need that one more piece. Mm-hmm. Not like the extra deck heavy ones, not like the link spam ones, but many decks are going to benefit from it. Now I have enough monsters that I can get through your, mac your macaroon cards. That's nice. You have a mirror force, don't you? I have a scrubbed raid. What is that? I don't know, but I can send away one of those and end the battle phase. That seems like a worse... Uh... It seems like a worse, like, uh, what was it, threatening roar. Um, depends on how you use it, I suppose. I guess some people would like to discard if they have, like, a deck around that, actually. Well, it's not even discard. It's, uh, take something away that anything you control. So, in this case, it was just I took a card from the field. Marsh Macaroon. So, we'll just do that. Then we're happy to sit right here. This is easy playing this deck. I don't have to do anything. I just have to hit the end turn button over and over again. Yep. I'll activate this real quick. Alrighty. Ooh. Send that away. Let's destroy those two cards. Okay. Confirm. Excellent choices. Can I not bring out that uh, snake deity from the grave? As I kind of need him right now. I don't know. I don't know how snakes work. I ain't no herpetologist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because... Okay. All right, battle phase. All righty. Based on his attack points alone, the Venom King is actually good. Yeah, definitely. It just seems like all the reptiles benefit from having their... the other ones in the grave, actually. Mm-hmm. Come on out, guys. I'll finally get rid of them all, Zylo. Yep. <laughs> oh, actually, there you go. You can destroy one, get some life point damage in. Um, only. let's see. If only. Yeah. Good old Waboku. Oh, yeah, I need to put down another card. Ooh, okay. Um, you know what? Sure, we'll do this one. Give me a little bit more room now. We got Pot of Duality, too. Might as well use it. Let's see what we're getting out of this. Ooh, got two card card Ds in there. Might be Fate. In fact, yeah, let's use one right now while we can. Oh, actually, I should have set another card first, but it's fine. Do I want to activate a card? Uh, nope. We're happy. And I will toss away another final countdown. We don't need two. So what do you need to make your win condition work again? I need to make I need to find a way of destroying my Venom Naga besides my battle. Mm hmm So that way I can activate my face down that I currently have. Gotcha. I realized that's the reason why the king that god isn't here. Because when I oh, summon yeah, him, he has to mm -hmm, destroy his own stuff. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a method of destroying my monster by any other means. I got mirror forces and stuff. Yeah. Mm, but whether or not you have them right now, though. I do. Oh. Well, you're not brave enough to use it right now. I'm waiting until you have the card you just mentioned. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. I thought you said you need a Venom Naga. No, no, uh, the trap card allows me to get it from either the hand or the deck. Gotcha. Okay, maybe next turn. Don't you do I want to activate a card? Nah. Okay. Oh, no, it's a dark hole. There you go. 
There we go. The queen has finally arrived. The timer is still ticking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our juicy attack points. Indeed. If only attack points mattered here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I need to inflict battle damage to you in order to get the tokens. <laughs> this is not a good matchup, but okay. Yeah. I'll see if I can help facilitate that so we can we can see if there's a good visual here. Mm-hmm. End of turn. Oh no, that's still your turn. Oh yeah. Um Can I do anything here? Um, how are you gonna do battle damage and not kill? Because yeah. I can put this out, but like that's not smart. Hmm. It's just that the duel took so long. I have so many reptiles in the grave. <laughs> it's a stupid win condition, isn't it? <laughs> Especially with how powerful it is. Yeah. So you didn't answer very clearly before. What do you need to do to get the win condition? Oh, need to inflict battle damage to you three times, mm -hmm. and when it gets those three hyper venom counters, it automatically wins. Okay. Alright, let's so. see if I can pull anything to help me out. <laughs> Banish your entire graveyard. That's how to help you out. Honestly, that might be a good way of doing it, but I don't know if there's anything in here that does that. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Maybe this? There we go. Oh, no. Hmm. I, when I said damage condenser, I thought, oh, maybe, I, maybe it allows me to banish cards from my graveyard in order to stop things. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No Venomanaga win this time. You know, honestly, when I saw the final countdown, I thought there was going to be like a giant like doomsday style explosion or something. Yeah, you would think so. Maybe this is, we'll see. Maybe it's think is the match. Here, I'll try to win now that we've decided that your thing's not going to work. And we'll see how it goes. By the way, there is a threatening roar. Yep. You can go right back to defense mode, buddy. I'm going to use another gold sarcophagus because why not? And we're gonna go looking for, you know what, the scrubbed raid. That was a fun I know card. what I'm I know what I'm naming this video now. Which is a worse wind condition. <laughs> I mean the final countdown for what it's meant to do is playing fine. Yeah, Venom is just super hard to win wind condition by. Yeah. Like the, the cards themselves, like you can see like five thousand five hundred is not nothing to sneeze about. But when you're trying to win by their wind condition though. Mm-hmm. Like it's just not it's possible it's not really easy to it's not realistic to have that happen in a standard duel i mean if you already have this monster out and your opponent is playing a non-stall deck you're basically winning mm -hmm. and your opponent doesn't have anything but you also do a super early game i mean so it's, imagine, it's a... imagine it was this effect instead where you just it needs to destroy three month opponent's monsters that mm -hmm. would be better right i suppose so yeah, just destroy, yes, but inflict battle damage. That's the tricky part. Um, all your opponent needs to do is just keep setting defense mode. Mm -hmm. You're going to get yourself some Fairy Meteor Crush Mario and equip it. Boom. Yeah, but even then I finish you off before I even do. You're going to get yourself some Mega Morph. Boom. That would cut me down by half, actually. Yep. Wait, does yeah. Mega Morph cut even special effect? Like, uh, power? Sure does. <laughs> you saw my 100,000 attack points I ran on Infinity. You know what works on the effect stuff. Let's see. Alright, let's go for it. I am going to summon... Too bad we found out Mega Morph doesn't stack. Mm -hmm. Cause imagine having 20,000 attack points because of that. Yeah. Then I would like to... Oh, I can't go into that. Oh yeah, because that requires that. Um, although, this is still relatively possible. We're going to... Eric, of course, we cannot go into that. 
But I can summon this. Do I want to activate a card? Sure. Uh, no, I don't. What does that do? I have no clue. If he's destroyed, I can target a <laughs> Link 3 monster in either graveyard and special summon it, Mario. So, boom. I just threw that in there because, you know, you needed targets for your putt card. I didn't know you were actually going to bring it out. <laughs> it's not very viable with this deck whatsoever, but, you know. Let's just see what the Venom count legendary Venom counters. Oh, yeah? Like. Okay. Yeah. It's just a mini chibi picture of the queen. Fantastic. Go on, go, keep bringing out monsters that are able to fight this thing, that it can survive. I mean, I don't know if I can. Yeah, that is true. I only have two extra deck monsters here. How many do you have left on your final countdown? Try not long. Alrighty. Activate. Here, I'll deck myself out first. <laughs> Another threatening roar. Yup. And then, of course, we also got ourselves a Messenger of Peace, which is technically you dealing life point damage to me because I'm using it to, you know, prevent you from attacking. I guess I should take a look at my final countdown. Um, let's see. It's actually not showing anymore. Oh, well. It's soon. I got it relatively early. You did. Dur, dur, dur. Uh, ha ha! I think that's that's the first bit of damage you've done to me. Take that, Mario! Game. Take that! Not the snake rain. Do I want to activate a garden? Goodbye, sir. I was kind of hoping Venom Swamp would be counterproductive against Venom Naga and just be starting to lower her attack points. Ah, uh, would be nice. There's that. We'll uh, set this bad boy down and the turn. Hmm. Set the card down. Battle face. Attack your face down. If, if I can't win by epic venom counters, then. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I was gonna say, then I'll try to win by. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Venom. Venom swamp. Yep. Darn it. Final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Well, final countdown worked out like a charm. Yeah, like, no. there's so many traps and stuff I just didn't even have to use. Honestly, that would have been annoying for any deck to deal with, honestly. It would have been for a lot of decks, yeah. Just. Stally, annoying. Obviously, if you're running a really good deck, you'll overcome it, but... Mm -hmm. The deck works like it's supposed to work, and then to that end, it works fine. But Venom's just bad. Anyway, we'll see if we can get you another uh, a Venom win in the future, guys. See if we can get anything spicy going out on here. But hopefully you have enjoyed this one. Haven't seen Final Countdown in a long time, so if you want to see Final Countdown fight anything in specific, let us know. I, I don't know if Final Countdown duels are the most entertaining of duels, but if I'm wrong, let me know in those comments. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. And we'll see you next time. Hey, folks.